are the elite part of a reptilian bloodline? Is Obama part of this plan to destroy the world? And what about Planet X? All coming up. Love Revolution presents The Culling of Humanity Exposed by the Kingdom of David, the Hope for the World, Fair Use Warning. Is there a desire or even a plan by elite societies to call mankind? Is Obama implicated in such a plan? Well, in this new movie, Kingsman, he certainly is. Let's watch. Yo, man, you know me. Money's not my issue. I could have retired straight out of MIT, fucked off to some island, let the business run itself. Nobody told me to try and save the planet. I wanted to. Climate change research, lobbying, years of study, billions of dollars, and you know why I quit? Because the last time I checked, the planet was still fucked. Hence, my epiphany. Money won't solve this. Those idiots who call themselves politicians have buried their heads in the sand and stood for nothing but re-election. So I spent the last two years trying to find a real solution. And I found it. Now, if you really want to make the world a better place, I suggest you open your fucking ears, because I'm about to tell it to you. Go on, Mr. Valentine. I'm still listening. As long as you agree to all my terms. Okay, we can see here that this clearly is talking about Obama. And indicates here that we're in a toilet. Don't leave me any messages how this is just a movie. I know it's a movie, but consider how 9-11 and other reality has started in movies. Top 10 movies that predicted the future. 10. Now in this segment, we can see the Swedish prime minister is receiving a chip of his own. Okay, you're done. And it's That's not a right? cell phone chip. And this is actually not far-fetched. They have such chips now. All right, this next story may sound like something out of, uh, well, a Hollywood thriller. A Saudi inventor has created a killer microchip. It's designed to track terrorists and criminals and, well, you can think of somebody. Not only does it include a GPS device, it also has a lethal dose of cyanide, which can be activated at any time. You get my point? Bingo. The game. Okay. In this segment, we can see that all the royal families are involved. Here, even Prince Harry is mentioned specifically uh, as Mr. Valentine, the arch enemy, is checking them off. Now, let's see if there's any validity. The video obtained by her hand in what appears to be the Nazi salute. Queen Elizabeth, then a seven-year-old princess, mimics the gesture, followed by her uncle, Prince Edward. The film has raised eyebrow. Uh, a man who was to become Edward VIII from the British royal family were uh, doing Nazi salutes to a video. The Sun released the video just three weeks after the Queen made her first visit to a former Nazi camp in Germany. Here we have Prince Harry sporting his Nazi uniform and there is no way that he could have obtained that uniform without the entire family knowing about it. Royals don't go anywhere by themselves or do anything by themselves. They have cultural experts, guardian, guardians, bodyguards, what have you. This is significant because we will soon discover that Obama is also related to the royal family as well as all the other presidents. The New York Post decided to check into the genealogy of President Bush, and his family tree has people talking. Early Let me take you through this, branch by branch. He's President Bush's ninth cousin once removed. Cheney's cousin, Barack Obama, is also Bush's 11th cousin, and the ninth cousin of Brad Pitt. President Lincoln was President Bush's seventh cousin five times removed, and Bush shared more than just a ballot with John Kerry. That's right. Their ninth cousins twice removed. There's also royalty in the Bush bloodline. Princess Diana was Bush's 11th cousin twice removed. And then there's this bombshell. 
Sure, she may have been singing to JFK, but what about GWB? He is, after all, her ninth cousin, three times removed. He's also related to Playboy founder Hugh Hefner, even Pocahontas, and Vlad the Impaler. It turns out this is highly significant because all the royal families of Europe are related to Vlad II, who is Count Dracula. And Count Dracula was able to stop all the Muslim hordes from entering Europe by doing a deal with the devil. And it's actually depicted in this movie, The Untold Story, Dracula. What we will also discover by this family tree is that the presidents of the United States are not elected, but selected, and so are most of the celebrities. Trace the family tree far enough, and you get Madonna, Celine Dion, and Tom Hanks. Doubt and guilt. You are the chosen people. When folk tell their kids the story of Noah's Ark, is Noah the bad guy? Is God the bad guy? How about the animals marching two by two? Of course not. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Let's turn those frowns upside down. Eat, drink, and party! And I will see you all in the new age. We've heard him reference Noah's Ark and now referencing a new age. The elite have had a plan to destroy the world and save a few for decades now. Now in this movie, Moonraker in the 70s, a similar plot to destroy the world. It was neither war nor pestilence that wiped out the race who built the great city lying around us. Now, in Moonraker, the name of the arch-villain is Drax. Probably what you would call your son if his name was Dracula. Probably not an accident. Drax. Dracula. It was their reverence for this lovely flower. Because long-term exposure to its pollen caused sterility. Correct, Mr. Bond. As you discovered, I have improved upon sterility. Those same seeds now yield death. Not, of course, to animals or plant life. One must preserve the balance of nature. Moonraker launch program, now commencing. Minus 20 seconds. SRB gimbal profile. Now in the space shuttle, they're going to discover what really is the purpose behind all these shuttle launches. Watch. See what cargo we have. The animals went in two by two. What do you mean by that? No, it was up. This operation. So before you tell me that this is just a movie, consider that 14 years later they conducted this very real and expensive experiment. Four men and four women are spending their first night in Biosphere 2. In 1991, eight researchers were sealed inside a futuristic glass complex near Oracle, Arizona. Did you get that? Eight researchers. That's how many people were on Noah's Ark. I don't think it's a coincidence. To spend two years living in a self-sustaining habitat. We hope by building Biosphere 2 that we build the first prototype for a total life system that you'd be able to take to another planet. Tonight we put a fascinating look into our future. The developers hailed the experiment as a prototype for colonizing space. The animals went in two by two. So we can see in this segment that the cell phone application is actually activating now and people are starting to go violently crazy. Oh, 
Have you ever heard of the Georgia Guidestones? These are like uh, Stonehenge, very large stone monuments, and they have a message on them in several different languages. And the first part of the message, written in English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Hebrew, Arabic, Chinese, and Russian, is to maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. The same seeds now yield death, not of course to animals or plant life. One must preserve the balance of nature. And so this agenda of these guidestones would require a depopulation of 95% of the world's population. In any case, before you just dismiss this, there is something called Agenda 21. And Agenda 21, which is a United Nations agenda, is believed to be a depopulation agenda. And before, and I suggest you look up Agenda 21 on YouTube, look at this, the has been done for them. And so the United Nations doesn't care about these people, they named them as the seventh billion person on Halloween uh, so that uh, they can wish them death. And when you look at the World Bank, uh, the uh, World Bank is constantly uh, fanatical about overpopulation problems. And what do these movies really speak about? It speaks about a Nazi plan for a master race. And while it seems like Germany lost the war in World War II, the Nazis did not and have infiltrated many of the world's societies. Now here we can see the first subtle hint of a reptilian plot. He tells her to stop playing with her food and kill him. as she turns green. I wonder why they call her a gazelle. The whole reptilian question, do they really exist? Well, this is the video that convinced me after watching over a month of bad quality video of Nicki Minaj being interviewed in a uh, mainstream news segment where I was able to go to the actual video and find this frame myself and I will leave a link so you can also do it. It is not very easy to find the exact moment you have to go back and forth until you find it. It's right here on 42 seconds on one frame in 30. I'll keep trying here, going back and forth. It's not easy to get it. Okay, there. If this had just been one eye, I might have been convinced that it was something wrong with the camera, a motion blur, a lighting issue. But I don't believe that. I don't believe it's a lighting issue or a motion blur or a camera artifact. These are her real eyes showing a moment in, in time. And so what does that say about our leaders? They are all from one bloodline and perhaps they're not human. So what is behind the elite? doing this Noah's Ark project, digging underground bunkers everywhere, flooding the world with 
Muslim refugees in order to create a combative situation, I believe it has something to do with Planet X. Planet X, or Planet Nibiru, is supposed to be on an elliptical orbit that comes into the solar system every few thousand years and causes havoc. Now, is this what the elite are hiding from? Now, the most famous astronomer who is credited with demoting Pluto is insisting there is a planet X. It's in our solar system. It's 10 times larger than the Earth. But now Brown, who wrote the book How I Killed Pluto and Why It Had It Coming, and whose Twitter handle is at Pluto Killer, wants to return the solar system to being nine planets strong because he and his colleague Constantine Batygin think they have evidence that an object that will surely qualify as being a full-fledged planet lies way out at what's usually considered the edge of the solar system. When we looked at the outer... I don't want to leave you without hope. Facts and information can be found outside the Bible. The truth that has the power to save you now and eternally is only found in the Bible. Please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and tweet it and share it on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.